So with the truck in the air let's have a look. Well it's had a new fuel tank on because the shield's missing. Jet rings are there. Exhaust's not looking too bad. A little bit rusty in places. Rear cross member is excellent. It's had a hole there but somebody's filled it in with some putty. But that's the only thing I can see so far. Uh, yeah, the looks like the plug's leaking on the diff pan but not too bad. Shocker bushes are looking a bit sad. Brake pipes are pretty good for its age. Not too bad, no leaks out of the brakes. The drum brakes on there. I haven't driven it yet, so it might be bad brakes. Um, yeah, the chassis looks good. You know. The shock cover's a bit warm, but that's not a fail. We'll, we'll check the wheel bearings in a minute. Yeah, for some reason this has got a catalytic conversion, I don't know why. Uh, he's greased up all the joints. Yeah, odd wires going here, there and everywhere, I don't know where they go. The bushings look good. Uh, I don't know about the U-joint, I'll get my thing under there. Doesn't sound promising, does it? Hmm. Joints are good. Um, outriggers are good. All the sills around here are pretty decent. Look at this. Battery box is starting to go. I'll have to see where I can put this light. This light seems to be not shining where I want it to be and it's casting a shadow. Um, yeah, not too bad. Maybe I could go like Ah, that's better if I go like that, look. Alright, so... Yeah, it's a casting a shadow on my camera. Never mind. The bushes here look good. Yeah, they're not bad. Yeah, they're good. Have a look at the front. Obligatory leak out of the swivel. But... Uh, not that bad. Looks like he's had a new tie rod at some time. I don't know why the army stuff never seems to put, put uh, springs on upside down. I don't know why that is. Oh, they haven't even bothered with this one, look. What's going on here? Huh. All the springs on. Steering box looks like it has been leaking, but somebody's put some, looks like they put a new seal in it. This isn't a power steering box, so it isn't the end of the world. Uh, maybe that's a better view, way to view things. This one's leaking a bit. Not too bad. Front prop shafts on backwards. Now where's these leaks coming from? This is where he was complaining it was leaking. Um, I don't think it's too much out of the gearbox. I think it's more transfer box. Our old friend Oh, it could be our old friend, the, the thing up there, but it doesn't look like it's leaking there. It looks like it's leaking from here. Down, but there's a leak here. Hmm. I don't know where that's coming from. It's not coming from the top of the bottom. Oh, damn these shadows. I mean, not, not Cliff Richard and Hank Marvin. But I, I'm... I think I'll take this lamp off and just use it in my hand. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, you see, up the top there, dry as a bone. But a bit of a leak down here. Now, could it be that that bungs wants a bit of a tightening up? Could be. I'm blowing back over here. Hard to say, isn't it? I don't want to make work for myself. But usually, up in here, we can see signs of the intermediate shaft leaking, but that seems to be okay. So it seems to be oil is coming this away. Could be front seal. But look here. Yeah, I've got a feeling it's, it could be the bung. Because look at the, this cross member here. 
and you see it's all wet with oil could it be an easy fix? I think so um, I had a look around the rocker box gaskets when I was here they seem to be nice and tight all, the, all is good here look there's no oil running down the engine a little bit wet and damp around here but the oil pan's relatively dry a little bit of weepy stuff there but that's not, too, that's not really worth considering about front seal hmm, seems to be dry again weepy gasket perhaps on the the oil pan it's had a silicone finish on there I'm not sure if it should be um, I'm not sure if that should be silicone or a gasket these early oil pans weren't very rigid on the bolts here I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to sort of get my uh, half inch drive and see if we can tighten that up because it might be just weepy out of there or the two bolts on the side but I don't think it's much to write home about and it has been dripping down there because look now you can see all the oil on there so that's not too bad and say front outriggers are good let's have a look at it oh there's the hole in the floor look oh that's no that's nothing what's this side like oh that's really good let's get a camera on there yeah, no, that's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for. Our riggers are perfect. Put a look down the front. It's had a ding in the front uh, cover, but that's nothing. This oil here is leaking higher than that. Almost look up, if you see what I mean. It could be the gasket on the pump here dribbling down. I don't think it's the seal for the simple reason it looks dry as a bone. Can you see it? It's not dripping down here. See what I mean? It's not dripping down there. Uh, it's had a new bloody light. Great light, but crap putting on your head. Um, it's had a new. Um, suspension damper on there oh that's good those oil leaks around there they're not really worth bothering about the rotors don't look too bad let's see on this side yeah they're not too bad I haven't driven it on the road yet so what we'll do now is we'll go around and, and check the wheel stations make sure that the bearings are good but no underneath is pretty good but I'm going to get my key out and tighten up that bung Right, let's check the wheels. That's good. The other side is making a clunky noise. Uh, the bushings at the top are good. Tank at the top's good. Everything around here looks hunky dory. Let's have a look at the, the front one. I won't move the camera, but I'll shout it out. Tight. Tight. Next, let's have a look at the other side. I think I found the, why the battery was going flat. Well, look at this. <laughs> you see the lights on here? It's bloody red hot. I bet you the bloody lights been on. These are convoy lights. Let me uh, see if I can crawl in the dash in the in the cab and see if I can turn it on. There's a noise coming from here, but I'm not sure if it's in here. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll continue. Wait a minute. I'll continue on and have a look at the front wheel. Tight. Nice. Um, yeah, let's have a look at that convoy light. I bet nobody's actually seen that before. Well, did it go out? Indeed, it did. Now, when I turned the light off, the four-way flashes came on. I don't know if you picked it up, but it was clicking. Now, I don't know if the four-way flashes are working here because I, I couldn't see both at the same time. But I could hear it clicking. 
turned off the switch on the dash, everything is good. So I hope that was the cause of our flat battery. Don't hear that. That wasn't for free, you know. Right, let's have a look at this wheel here, because I'm just a bit perplexed about it. Is that playing the dip? It shouldn't be. I'm not really sure what that is. Let me take the cap off here, make sure the strand hasn't gone. Now, what we're looking for, what we're looking for here is play between the spline and the hub. Now, let me tell you, because these drum brake axles uh, didn't have a seal intermediate between the differential and the hub, that meant hub oil, uh, axle oil, can get to the splines and therefore on these uh, earlier trucks with the drum brakes, very, very little problem with spline wear. Hmm. No, there's something in the diff because it's not there. Um, it's not the end of the world. What we'll do. This isn't a repair video, this is just to have a look around it, but if there's a little few funny about jobs like that light bulb and things like that, then we're not too concerned. Is that diff the end of the world? It's not much. Is it worth taking all the diff out and messing about? And it's the same with the transfer case. I've just sprayed some uh, brake cleaner around the bottom of the gearbox and around the leaky parts of the uh, trans transfer case. I don't think the transfer case is leaking, but I think it might be. I tried to get, I got, I think, about a, a third of a turn on the bung for the uh, gearbox, and it definitely seems to be coming from there, not above or anywhere, it comes from there. So what I'm thinking of, is it worth dropping the oil out putting some sealer, make sure that bung is tight, um, make sure the bung is, pardon me, make sure the bung is clean, put some sealer around it, put it back in. Then we can eliminate that problem. I don't know. These gearboxes were split in two halves. It's the Santana box. It was split in two halves. But looking around all the seam, it seems to be good, if you get my drift. So I think that's about all we can do. It's pretty good otherwise. It's pretty good. It's pretty good truck for, for an army truck. It's really, really good. Um, bit of knock in the diff. Um, yeah, bit of knock in the diff. Once a, a cap on the other side, which I'll put on now. Um, carburetor needs a better bracket on it. Um, the battery's on charge as you can hear in the background, so that should be okay, fingers crossed. But I think what was happening was, as it was charging, it was discharging through the light. I bet the light's been on here, on the back of here for ages. Um, if it was mine, I'd cut the bloody wire off, because we really don't need convoy lights in Quebec yet. Um, yeah, oh, it's a pretty good truck. It's a pretty good truck. Happy with it, so let's report back to the owner.